Somewhere. Be careful, Ratchet. Murder is an unregulated planet. Unwanted visitors have a bad habit of disappearing from here. The Ratchet and Clank franchise has always added a few gameplay tweaks without messing with the basic formula. This is the best Ratchet and Clank game since Up Your Arsenal, and a game that should be played by anyone who likes platformers or the Ratchet and Clank franchise. The story and quest for Booty picks up right where Future Tools of Destruction left off. Clank has been kidnapped by the Zonies, and you have to figure out where he is. The game is narrated by Rusty Pete, who is an extremely stupid pirate. He keeps it as funny as other games in the series. Hate you, Pete. They just don't understand ye. The game sadly ends with a cliffhanger, just like Tools of Destruction did. But the story is still very entertaining throughout. Quest for Booty is better than previous Ratchet games because it is so focused on fun. The last few games in the series got quite bloated with all the extraneous mini-games they tossed in. From ball rolling to spaceship fighting, it just got kind of a bore and a drag after a while. This just focuses on what makes Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet and Clank. There's platforming sections, there's puzzle, and there's combat, and that's all you have to worry about. The combat is still top notch. There's only a couple puzzles in the game and they're really funny actually. The platforming is difficult, but not frustrating. This is the essence of Ratchet and Clank condensed into four hours. The problem with having a four-hour Ratchet and Clank game is you kind of lose a lot of the stuff that made Ratchet and Clank cool. Yeah, Quark was one of the funniest characters in the Ratchet and Clank universe, so not having him at all in this game is a big, bit of a drag. Clank is also absent since he's the person you're trying to rescue in the game. But the biggest problem for me is the absence of arena missions. These provided a lot of replay value and difficulty in previous games, so it kind of makes the experience seem slight in comparison. The upgradable weapons also take a serious hit when you only have four hours to play with. You get each weapon at level three and you can bump it up to level five, but you know, there's not a big difference between the levels. You can find hidden upgrades throughout the levels, but it's one for each weapon and it doesn't add a lot to the game. The graphics in Ratchet and Clank Quest for Booty are ridiculously good. These are some of the best you'll see on the system. It took last year's already beautiful Tools of Destruction and added better textures, way better lighting, and no frame rate hiccups. This is a gorgeous game and the best looking downloadable game I've ever seen. Ratchet and Clank Quest for Booty is a ridiculously awesome game. There is not one boring minute in this three and a half hour adventure. Anyone who likes great graphics, great music, platforming, Ratchet and Clank needs to get to this game.